I hope you guys are all having an outstanding day. Easy Outfix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator. The purpose of the fuel pressure regulator is to maintain the proper amount of pressure in the fuel system so that the injectors release the right amount of fuel to achieve the perfect air slash fuel ratio. Today we'll be focusing on a vacuum operated pressure regulator. You might not even have one. Some newer cars have a built-in fuel pump module to control the pressure electrically. A way the vacuum pressure regulator could go bad is by having a torn diaphragm. This will allow fuel to be sucked up by the vacuum hose, going into the engine, creating a rich condition. Regulators are typically found at the end of the fuel rail on most multi-port fuel injection systems. Some can be around the throttle body, or other versions can be near the fuel pump. So the first symptom you might be experiencing with a bad fuel pressure regulator is having your check engine light on. You won't see a direct code for the regulator we're talking about today since it's vacuum operated. But you might get some codes that can steer you towards the right direction. A code that can pop up is a P0172, which means the engine has more fuel than air ratio. If you don't fix the problem right away, with time, you might see codes for a misfire since a rich condition is known to cause carbon buildup on the spark plugs, preventing them to ignite. The second symptom is having fuel inside the vacuum line that connects the regulator to the intake manifold. A good working regulator should never have fuel leaking from the vacuum port or the lines. This is due to the regulator diaphragm being torn. This goes hand in hand to the next symptom, having poor gas mileage. You might be catching yourself spending more time at the gas station than usual. This is due to the extra fuel being sucked into the intake manifold using more gas than what is actually needed. The fourth symptom is a rough idle. A thrown off air slash fuel ratio causes the combustion process to not burn efficiently, leaving you with unwanted vibrations. The fifth symptom is overall poor engine performance. In order for the engine to run its best, it needs to burn at the perfect air slash fuel ratio. Unwanted fuel being sucked from the regulator diaphragm into the intake manifold disrupts this air slash fuel ratio, leaving you with a poor running engine. The sixth symptom is a failed emissions test. The unneeded extra fuel creates more harmful emissions which goes into the catalytic converter and out the tailpipe. The catalytic converter will try to convert some of these harmful gases into safer ones, but it won't be able to do all of it since it's overloaded, resulting to you in a failed emissions test. It's also extremely important to fix the problem right away to prevent carbon blockage on your catalytic converter and oxygen sensors. The seventh symptom is a hard start or a no start at all. If you keep driving with a torn diaphragm through time, excess fuel will cause carbon buildup on the spark plugs, preventing them from igniting the air slash fuel mixture, leaving you with a hard start or a no start at all. Sweet, we just learned symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.